Okay, next is from The Seller's Den. I've never been to an auction. Would it be worth it? Hey guys, it's Saturday, January 2nd. I want to wish you all a happy new year. Uh, I usually don't work on the weekends, but I'm working today because I've got like 25 orders already to ship out for Monday, so I thought I'd get a head start. I took off Thursday and Friday because my kids' school was closed, so everything seems to be piling up. So the kids are napping. I'm in here getting a little bit of work done. Let's get to work. Okay, first thing is a Harley Davidson Muscle Machines car. It should be. Here it is. This is by Maisto. It's part of a bulk buy I did. It's actually a 66 Ford Mustang with like a Harley design on it. Pretty cool. Um, I've got $10 into that. It sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Next is a pair of Carhartt pants. Back here in this box. I got a number of these from Kevin the Tennessee Picker. And I've already sold quite a few too. I think I've sold like five or six pair. I've got $5 into these. They're new with the tags. They sold for $24.99 plus shipping. All right, I sold a few of those Nintendo games that I showed you guys. About half of them I put up for auction, and the other half I put for buy it now. Let's see, I sold Paperboy, um, Simpsons, Bart vs. the World, and Xenophobe. Bring these over here and tell you guys how much each one sold for. Okay, uh, Simpsons sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Xenophobe sold for $34.99 plus shipping, and Paperboy sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Next thing is an E42, right here, got it all bagged up. This is a blue Nintendo DSi and some games. Got this from the Pickle Resellers, Danny and Parker. That sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Next is a set of books, right here, Walking Dead. These are like graphic novels it's not the complete set it's volumes 1 through 15 got these at a garage sale over the summer for pretty cheap i think i paid about five bucks for them those sold for 49.99 plus shipping your name craig got those books craig thank you for the support i really appreciate it next sale is a label printer i think it's a thermal one too down here on b5 this is a brady bmp 21 has the case has like some replacement uh i think there's are labels in there three of them new in the packaging got this from my guy mike as part of a bulk buy so got about 25 dollars into it that's sold for 69.99 plus shipping the next sale is right next to it this is a vintage miranda camera um sold it as is it was part of a bulk buy i made a couple months ago so I've got right around $15 into it. That sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Next thing's in D41. This little guy right here. The Pokemon Leaf Green version for Game Boy Advance. Something I also got from the Pickle Resellers. That sold for $49.99 for shipping. All right, every video I try to show you guys at least one thing that I pack. This week is going to be these Walking Dead books. First thing I'm going to do is get a poly bag to put these in. You can get these um, with your eBay store credit, or you can just buy them straight up. But I like putting these in poly bags because I don't want them just moving all around in the box. So the first thing we're going to do is slide these in here. And when we're picking out a box for these, I cannot use any kind of priority mailbox like this because I'm going to send these media mail. So we need a box that is not issued by the post office. I think this one right here will do the job. It's a little bigger than we need, so we're going to use some newspaper fill. And I've got labels on both sides here. So here's a label, and there's a label. So we need to mark out one of these. And the other one, I'm just going to put the new label right over it. You can see all that extra space in there, and we're going to fill that with this. This weighs 11 pounds, so if I shipped this priority mail, it would be a lot more expensive 
than the way I'm doing it. So media mail rate for 11 pounds. I think it'll ship around seven bucks. I'm not positive, but that's kind of the ballpark of what it's going to cost. Okay, next thing is a Nintendo DS Lite and E31 right here. This little guy, this is a blue one. This powered on, and I think it played DS games, but it wouldn't play um, GBA games. So, part the value, I sold it for $29.99 plus shipping. Next is C42, another Nintendo DS Lite. Let's see. Actually, I think I sold two out of here, a pink one and a red one. So let's go ahead and pull them both. Both of these powered on, but neither would play DS games. I've just had a bad run of luck lately with these things. Uh, this one sold for $24.99 plus shipping, and that one sold for $21.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a tennis racket. Let's see, I think it's up here. It's a Wilson Hammer 6.2. Yeah, this one right here. Got this from Kevin, the Tennessee Picker. Grip wasn't in good shape, and this isn't a really valuable racket, so I didn't invest the time and money to replace the grip. I figured whoever got it would put their own on there. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a Jamie Summers doll, the Bionic Woman. And I had two of these, and I'm pretty sure I put one in a box. Yeah, here it is. Here's the one that has the box and an extra piece, and then this one is just loose. Um, I got this one and the other one at an auction, an online auction. So I've got about $8 into this one and like $12 into the other one. This sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a hat. Let's see. I think it is in here. Is this it? Yeah, Luna Zool Tequila. Got this at a garage show for a dollar, sold for $8.99 plus shipping. That hat's going out to some viewers. They say, hey, John, love your channel. You're the reason why we started selling on eBay. Please include a sticker if you can to keep up the good work. Kayla and Nate Hale at Hale's Bargains on Instagram. Kayla and Nate, thank you for the support. I'll be happy to throw in some stickers for you. Well, I didn't get everything packed, but I put a really big dent in it. So Monday should go a lot smoother. All right, I'm heading home. I'll see you guys in a couple days. It's now Monday morning. I've still got like... 15 or so eBay orders to ship out, but first I want to answer some viewer questions. First is from Heather Bernesser. What label do you use on a Region B box? Just a regular Priority 1 and just put the weight as 4 pounds. I'm still new to reselling and trying to learn all the different shipping. Thanks for another great video. Alright, so first I'm going to show you the boxes that she's talking about. I showed these in a previous video. Um, this one right here uh, is the one that I use the most. This size regional rate B. And then this regional B is like a long skinny one. This one's good for laptops, like long, you know, skinny, heavy stuff like that. Both boxes, you can fill them up to 20 pounds, I think is the max. Yeah. And they will ship at a four pound rate. You can get those on USPS.com. Some post offices have them. Uh, but as far as your question for the label, uh, whether you're printing on eBay or Pirate Ship or wherever you're printing your label, you need to put in the actual weight. So weigh it. If it weighs 15 pounds, put 15 pounds. Then you can do the drop down and select. So all those options they give you of like priority mail, first class, you know, UPS, FedEx, there will be a selection there for regional rate B. So you want to pick that and then ship it out. So hopefully that answers your question. Since you're new to reselling wish you nothing but the best of luck okay next is from the seller's den i've never been to an auction would it be worth it yeah i love going to auctions personally i haven't been to a live auction in a pretty long time at least a couple years and it's hit or miss what they're doing now you know with covid and everything if they're still doing live auctions a lot of them have moved to online but you can definitely find some good stuff at some live auctions um you can go to auctionzip.net or auctionzip.com one of those two you put in your zip code and it'll like pull up all these auctions around you and it'll tell you if it's live or online and give you all the details and everything. My advice for auctions is always stay to the very, very end because usually at the very end, there's maybe like five or 10 people left and everything's going really cheap. Uh, but sometimes that can take a whole day. I've been, I've been to auctions where I'll get there at like 8 a.m. and it's like 6 or 7 p.m. by the time they're wrapping it up. So they're a lot of fun. You can get some good deals. Uh, but yeah, in the beginning, let everybody else spend their money. Just hang on to yours at the end. You'll get some stuff. 
Next is from Colby. Hey John, love the videos. I have a quick question. I sell things I don't need from time to time on eBay. The eBay app says it needs my banking information and social security number to send me payouts. Does that sound legit? If I don't do that, does it mean I can't get the money if I sell something? Okay, so you're describing eBay managed payments. It used to be eBay did all the payment processing through PayPal and they let PayPal take care of all that. But here in the last year or so, that's all switching over and eBay has kind of rolled it out uh, on like a tiered basis. So I think they probably started with the biggest sellers and said you guys got to switch over and then you know so on and so forth with the smaller sellers so different people have had to do it at different times i had to do it maybe i'm gonna say like six months ago something like that i had to switch over uh but yeah it's totally legit um they need all your tax info because you know they can send the info of what you sold and all those numbers to the irs so yeah you got to pay taxes on what you sell that's why they need that info so yeah uh, as long as it's ebay asking for it totally legit anybody else asking for it don't give it to them okay last is from Drew Duffany. What kind of guitar is that hanging on the wall? Do you have it in the office to unwind or to snag a chance to practice? All right, so let's go in here and I'll show you the guitar you're talking about. So this is an Ibanez Acoustic Electric. Nothing special. I've had it, I'd say, gosh, maybe like close to 10 years. I picked it up used for like $150 or something like that. Um, I'm a novice guitar player. I just like playing to kind of unwind. So I do keep it in here to play it from time to time. <laughs> You'll see right here, I I tape some uh, song uh, chords to it. Uh, apples and bananas, <laughs> head, shoulders, hokey pokey. I played at my daughter's daycare. I guess it's been about a year ago now and I couldn't remember all the chords so i just put them on there toddlers are a tougher audience than you would think but yeah i love playing guitar i play drums i'm not really good at any of them but they're just fun to play all right time to ship some orders i went ahead and pulled the two things from my storage unit that's sold first is this Mikan psycho slow pitch softball bat uh this was something i got from kevin tennessee picker i was trying to remember because i did a couple different bat buys and I'm almost positive I got this from Kevin the Tennessee Picker. Uh, that sold for $99.99 plus shipping. Then I sold a lot of nine Cub Scouts programs from the 50s. Those sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Those programs are going out to a couple of viewers. Alan says his son Cooper is eight years old, loves Cub Scouts, currently a bear in his 30 year Cub Scouts. Also a huge fan of my videos on YouTube. Guys, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Okay, next thing is gonna take a little bit of work tracking down. Um, I won't put you guys through that. It's 20 individual baseballs that I picked up in Tennessee that are um, signed by the Chattanooga Lookouts minor league team. And I've got them all in different bins because I had individual listings for them. I think there's at least a couple back in here. Yeah, so here's two of them so i'll go ahead and pull the rest of them all right i found them all uh there's a total of 20 and someone reached out offering um to buy them all like what i would do and i think i had like ten dollars plus shipping on each so i made a listing for all 20 hundred dollars free shipping there's a grown-ups of you named kyle he says john happy new year thank you for the opportunity to do business watching for some time and again thank you for all the great content and knowledge you give to the community i've been reselling for almost two years off and on nothing big just some dabbling for now love sports memorabilia and look forward to looking up these signatures kyle ebay stores are the k and j exchange and the gray beard collection kyle happy new year to you thank you so much for your support all right, next order is a couple of patches. Let's see, first is Air Force Test Operations. It says it's in C5s before I changed over my inventory, so it should be right down in here. Yep, that's the one. Had that listed, I think, for like 40 or best offer. Somebody sent an offer of $20 free shipping, and I accepted. And the same buyer sent an offer on another one I have. Uh, let's see, first tactical reconnaissance. It says A2. So it's probably here. Yeah, this one right here. That just has a really cool look to it. Um, also had this listed around $40 or best offer. He sent a 50, offer of $15 free shipping and I accepted. I got both of these patches about five or six months ago at a garage sale. I bought like 100 patches for 40 bucks and I made a killing on them. I sold quite a bit. Of patches for like seventy dollars and up. I was happy to take a less for these because I wasn't sure they were even really worth that. It was kind of hard to find comps, but yeah, really happy with that buy. Okay, next thing is down in E51. It is this Vito Pro Pack uh, HVAC like uh, little tool pouch. 
Got this from Mike. Uh, it was part of a book. A lot of stuff I got from him. I've probably got about seven or eight dollars into this. It's missing the. Um, I guess there's like some kind of like handle that goes uh, on top here. Somebody pointed that out to me. So I lowered the price a little bit. It sold for twenty four ninety nine plus shipping. Next thing is a Wedgwood Napoleon Ivy tray. Uh, let's see. It should be on this C rack. Here we go. It's underneath these shoes. This is an oddball piece that I picked up at a garage sale over the summer. Paid five dollars for it. It sold for sixty nine ninety nine plus shipping. Next is right here. The Dukes of Hazard model truck. I think it's from the eighties. Not complete. Uh, they had assembled it, but it's missing. You know, I think like some stickers and some other stuff. It sold for twenty nine ninety nine plus shipping. Next thing's right here. This is a old board game from the sixties called Go. Got this at a garage sale over the summer. I paid three dollars for it. Really cool. It's in really good condition. Has the instructions, the wood board, the pieces are down in here. Had this listed for a while, um, but it finally sold. Sold for forty nine ninety nine plus shipping. Next thing is some NES games. Let's see. First is Deadly Towers, complete in the box. Part of that recent book by games that I made. That sold for thirty nine ninety nine plus shipping. Next is Double Dribble, also complete. That one sold for nineteen ninety nine plus shipping. And then one buyer got two games. Let's see. Anticipation and Blades of Steel. Blades of Steel sold for uh, $20 plus shipping. And Anticipation sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And that buyer also got the Nintendo. Let's see. I, list, I put that down here. E5. This came with that buy. And I was hopeful that it would work, but it did not work. I got it to power on. Um, and the light stayed red instead of flashing, which is usually the case, but I cannot get a signal to the TV, like no matter what I tried. So, I don't know. Hopefully the buyer can figure out if I'm doing something wrong or what. So, I had to sell it for less. Um, buyer offered, I think like $50 plus like putting it in a medium uh, fly rate, which is like 13 and some change or something. So, I just sold it for uh, $63 free shipping. All that Nintendo stuff's going out to viewer named Dan. Dan, thank you for the support. Really hope you get that Nintendo working. All right, next thing is a PlayStation 3 controller in E42. This red one right here, something I got from the Pickwar resellers. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Okay, I sold another NES game. I guess I didn't realize that. It is Rescue the Embassy Mission, also complete in the box. That sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Sold an action figure. Uh, it is the Spirit Thug from 2009. New in the packaging right here. It's pretty cool. Got this up in Fort Wayne with that big bulk buy of toys and all that stuff I bought. That sold for $8.99 plus shipping. Sold a starting lineup figure. It is Tony Dorsett and Emmett Smith of the Cowboys. This is something I got from Kevin the Tennessee Picker. That sold for $12.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a bobblehead. Let's see, a Billy Hamilton bobblehead. Right up here. And he was in the minor leagues for the Dragons. Sold 155 bases one year. It's crazy. That guy's so fast. Uh, that sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Okay, last thing I'm shipping is a pair of shoes. Right up here. Nike Air Max 90 Ultra Essential. Got these from my guy Mike. I probably got, I guess, close to $10 into them because they were part of that bulk buy. Those sold for uh, $29.99 plus shipping. Those are going out to a viewer named Caesar. He says, long time viewer, first time buyer. Love all the content. Caesar, thank you for the support. Really hope you like those shoes. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.